how's it going everyone today we're going to be doing a special video for obito's birthday now when i first looked at this banner i thought the answer was pretty obvious to whether you should summon on it or not plus it's going to be going away in like a couple of hours probably right after this video goes up it'll already have been gone so yeah i wanted to talk about this though anyway because it is obito's birthday so to me this is a little bit special obviously and i actually made a video about a year ago for obito's birthday as you can see it's right there that was a year ago so that was a long time ago to say the least and it's crazy to me how far i've come you can see how archaic my videos were back then still i mean they still kind of are but wow a whole year i can't believe it and i've kept up with blazing even till now and this was one of the videos back then that actually did surprisingly well i literally just jumped into a raid and i did the masked man raid i believe it was and I just ended up taking every single Obito that I had, and that was pretty cool. We've definitely gotten more Obitos since then. We've gotten better Obitos. And yeah, man, I, I really enjoyed making that. It feels like it was just yesterday I did this, too. You guys showed a lot of support on that. So thank you for still being here after all that as well, because it's been a long time in the making. So back to the topic at hand. For Obito's birthday today, should you summon on this banner? Now, I'm going to just go out and say no, but it's really up to you. I said this in my Kaguya summon video the other day that I really don't have anything other to summon for right now on this account because like there's nothing else that I'm looking forward to like Kaguya's Blazing Festival was really cool but you know I, I just don't think there's anything else coming up we have the Valentine's banner which I'm assuming they're gonna drop they've dropped a Valentine's banner every year and I actually started playing Blazing in 2017 like I've said before but I didn't start playing heavily till 2018 like I took breaks off and on but once 2018 came around right before the Valentine's banner they had with Conan and I believe it was Kushina back then or Reen and yeah I was able to actually pull them so we might get a Valentine's Day banner this time around I also summoned on it last year with Hinata and Sakura-chan that was a really cool one because I like Hinata a lot obviously but I don't know what they're gonna do for this time but I'm probably gonna pass on it on top of that we're getting a blazing bash next week I would assume or it might be the week after that because JP should be getting it next week and with that again like there's just it could be a broken blazing bash by all means but I really don't see anything else coming up so yeah when it comes to the Obito banner you have a really good chance at getting the anniversary Obito and that is kind of cool that they're already dropping a banner for this Obito because I don't think they did something like this for the final valleys right after they were released but with that said for the Obito banner you have a chance at getting Getting all these ones right here it's not a blazing bash so you can't get those so if you're wanting that one don't jump into this although you really don't need that blazing bash one anymore obito the final destination is the anniversary one spare of loneliness and drawn to life now the drawn to life one used to be my favorite because that was jubito and he is still really good but he's just outdated man he really is this one right here this one's absolute trash i never cared for this obito he's got an insane amount of chakra like 9 16th i think or something like that uh but jubito he on the other hand isn't that bad and i mean he's just outdated but if you could pull him it wouldn't be a bad thing but the third anniversary obito is really good now if you don't have anniversary obito and you have pearls to spend then this banner might actually be for you just because you do have chances they're all at a one percent as well like they usually are on birthday banners and if you can get all the way to the fifth step then he will be at a two percent right there which is obviously very good because you need to have that chance and then on the sixth step you're guaranteed one but yeah this third anniversary obito is really good you see everybody use him when it comes to running ninja road or just anything for that matter he's such a clutch Healer. he's the best out of the third anniversary even more than kakashi in my opinion so i would personally say if you don't have obito and you have the pearls just summon on this yeah but at the same time it's not worth it we just don't have anything else coming up to my knowledge blazing bash could be something broken valentine's is just going to be valentine's and we really don't know the conan banner is trash so don't summon on that so it's really up to you if you don't have third anniversary obito summon if you don't want him okay move on it is what it is but yeah man so that's just my thoughts i mean it's obito's birthday i just i wanted to sit here and just talk about it because i think it's crazy that i made a video on blazing a year ago and i'm still going till now on the new birthday for obito that to me is just crazy as well so i'm a year older along with him which is cool but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this just a short video talking about my boy we should see what's going to be coming up for blazing bash tonight actually because we are going to be seeing that jp is going to get the leaks 
for the qualifying league so we should be seeing the potential blazing bash unit and hey maybe it'll be something broken but also at the same time by then obito will be gone so yeah you need to make your choice wisely but yeah that's gonna be it for today i hope y'all enjoyed this happy birthday to my boy obito one more thing the amazing wallpaper that is on the sides here i'm gonna be putting a link in the description to the person on twitter it is amazing i love it so much it's literally the two duo dynamic and shows the just how great it is between obito when he was a kid and when he gets older like the change between them it's really good so i like that a lot so i'm gonna put a link to that in the description but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video